After postponements and days of anxiety on the opposition oath ceremony, Raila Odinga today finally took the bold step to take his supporters to the promised land of Canaan as he took the oath as the people's president. <laughs> The swearing-in event will, however, not come anywhere close to that of President Uhuru Kenyatta. In the first instant, the constitution provided that the president must be sworn in between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. By 2.30 p.m., the coalition leaders had not yet arrived at the venue and the identity of the person who will administer the oath remained unknown. The supporters were still confident that the liberator was coming. Odinga will cast any doubt the event will not take place since he arrived late 2 p.m. to be sworn in. It was expected Anna Madi, the chief registrar of the judiciary, will not be the oath administrator. Dwaraka MP TJ Kajwang was fully robbed and acted as the oath administrator. But I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the people and the Republic of Kenya. Odinga, cheered on by his supporters, raised the Green Bible upward upon taking the unofficial oath of office. Its wording different to that of President Uru Kenyatta on November 28th, since Odinga declared himself as the people's president. <laughs> It will be a historic swearing in event that will be recorded with the absence of instrumental power as the handing over of the sword with the constitution is one of the most visible signs that power had officially changed hands, which was not visible in this opposition swearing in event. It's a historic day for the people of Kenya. For the first time in our history, the people have gathered here in their hundreds of thousands to say enough is enough with the election rigging. Nasa leader Raila Odinga would not even give a speech to symbolize his way forward. Only thing that he did was to change history to bio. Thank the people of Kenya for their courage, for their patience. For the fortitude that you have shown the rest of the world, that a people united can never be defeated. Pandits will argue that NASA leader Raila Odinga swearing in events at Uhuru Park has violated various aspects of the constitution. This is so since the constitution says that the swearing in of president-elect shall be done in public before the chief justice or in the absence of the chief justice, the deputy chief justice takes effect. Further, president is required to sign a certificate of inauguration in which was not the case in this opposition oath ceremony.